Today, we're diving into the exciting world of high-performance racing technology with the Tax Pro Racing Tire Air Control System. Join me as we uncover the installation process, a task that might seem tricky at first sight, but is surprisingly manageable with a touch of skill and guidance. We'll walk through step-by-step, step, highlighting the key points and tips to ensure a smooth setup. But that's just the beginning. Stick around until the end because we're not just stopping at installation. I'll showcase the magic of this system in action, how it dynamically adjusts tire pressure, revolutionizing the racing experience. So buckle up and stay tuned as we explore the installation and witness firsthand the incredible capabilities of the Tax Pro Racing Tire Air Control System. First of all, let's see what's in the box. A display unit, drain valve, pressure control unit, rear brake disc protection, two SKF high quality bearings, four hub pressure ceilings, two are provided as spare, two special designed wheel spacer with mud ceilings mounted, inner tube for hub, hoses, and all other parts for mounting the system on your dirt bike. We'll begin by dismantling the right side of the bike, gracefully starting with the seat and smoothly transitioning to the air filter box side plastics. Then it's time to unplug those battery wires, uncouple the fuel tank, and delicately detach the ECU. Moving on to the next pit stop in our installation, wheel preparation. Whether you've got shiny new bearings or you're swapping out old ones like I did, we've got you covered. If you're working with new bearings or a fresh bike, you need to change only the right bearing of the wheel. If, like me, you're upgrading from dollar store bearings to top-notch SKF ones, swap those in. Once that's sorted, grab your drill and dive into precision mode, starting with a smaller bit for accuracy. Smooth out the hole with sandpaper, throw on some bling with the included sticker, and snugly install the connector and O-ring. But, hey, gentle hands. We don't want to flatten that rubber too much. On the brake side, it's time for the special non-sealed bearing. Seal the deal with those seals, lube them up, and cap it off with the fresh wheel spacers. Left side gets the holeless spacer, right side gets the one with holes. Grease them well for a smooth and longer life. Now, for the grand finale, remove the Schrader valve, screw in the adapter, then connect your hub to the tubless low-pressure valve like a racing maestro. And just like that, your wheel is ready to roll. Now, get ready for the adrenaline rush as we delve into the heart of the Tax Pro air control system. Introducing the game changers, the compressor unit, and the main airlines. I'll admit, this part had me on the edge, but with the provided templates and a bit of courage, it's a breeze. Pro tip, heat up that drill bit for a hole so smooth, it's practically poetry. Starting with the compressor unit, follow the user-friendly manual, and in no time, you've got everything in place. Secure it all with zip ties, but don't tighten them just yet. We've got a few more steps to dance through. Next on the checklist is the pressure-keeping hero, the drain valve. Let's talk wire management. They've designed it so sleek, you won't even notice the wires are there. Same goes for the airline. These guys put in the effort to find the perfect spots for every part. And we all know how crucial it is to have quick access during a race without disassembling half the bike. The quick connectors are your new best friends, making the process lightning fast. A sharp knife is your tool of choice for that clean, straight cut. Look at that line, secure as Fort Knox. Follow the air hose routing instructions in the manual and brace yourself for a surprise through the swing arm. Talk about thinking outside the box. It's practically indestructible back there, ready for any race day challenge. And here's a quick pro tip. Use a long wire to effortlessly pull the hose through to the rear disc protection. Remember, measure twice, cut once, especially when it comes to the airline. Ensure enough length for any wheel adjustments when tensioning the chain. And just like that, we're well on our way to mastering the Tax Pro air control system. And now, for the grand finale. It's time to piece it all together like a high-stakes puzzle. Connect the system to the battery, welcome back the ECU, reunite with all the parts we gracefully removed from the bike, the wheel, the fuel tank, and of course, the star of the show the display unit proudly perched on the handlebars. What you're left with is not just a bike, 
It's a powerhouse equipped with the ability to adjust your tire pressure on the fly, full throttle, with just a simple touch of a button. The thrill of control, the power at your fingertips, it's a game changer. So buckle up because the ride is just beginning. The Tax Pro Racing Tire Air Control System operates with precision and speed, offering two pressure options that you define from the blinker switch, low and high. Using the intuitive display unit, easily toggle between pressures and fine-tune within the range of 0 to 0 0.80 bar, effortlessly adjusting with the up and down buttons. What sets this system apart is its lightning-fast air drainage capabilities. From 0 0.4 to 0 bar, it takes a mere 6 to 10 seconds to release the air, a remarkable speed that outpaces the time it takes to unscrew a traditional valve cap, showcasing its efficiency and racing-ready performance. And now, we're ready to unleash the Tax Pro Racing Tire Air Control System into the heart of the action. Stay tuned because the real excitement is about to unfold. In the next video, we dive into the first impressions after putting some serious hours on the system. It's time to push it to the limit and give it the hard test it deserves. Don't miss out on the action. Subscribe to the channel and be the first to witness the thrilling results. Till then, get yours now directly from the manufacturer.